Hello everyone, my name is Brendan, and today we will be discussing the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, also known as the CMMC. This is just episode one of a new series where we will be covering the CMMC framework in its entirety. Throughout the series, we will be discussing what the CMMC model is, the different domains, practices, and processes that make up the model, and what you can do to become CMMC compliant yourselves. In this first video, I will be introducing you to the CMMC and just giving you a brief overview on what it exactly is. So what exactly is the CMMC? So CMMC stands for the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification. The CMMC has multiple maturity levels that range from basic cybersecurity to advanced cybersecurity. The practices that are found within the CMMC model span across 17 different capability domains. This model is a newer concept and version one was actually just released by the Department of Defense on January 31st of 2020. The purpose of the new framework is to assess and enhance the cybersecurity posture of the defense industrial base. The Department of Defense's objective is to incorporate CMMC into the Defense Federal Acquisition Regulation Supplement, also known as DFARS, and use it as a requirement for contract award. So basically the framework is just a unified standard for implementing cybersecurity for organizations that are partners, contractors, or subcontractors within the defense industrial base. Additionally, the model has been developed to ensure the protection of controlled unclassified information, also known as CUI, and federal contract information, also known as FCI, within the Department of Defense supply chain. Many of you already may be aware of what CUI and FCI is, but for those of you who are not aware, CUI is just information that the government creates or possesses or information someone has created on behalf of the government. And this type of information requires additional safeguarding while handling it. And FCI is information that is provided by or generated for the government under contract, but it is not intended for public release. The CMMC is intended to serve as a certificate to verify appropriate levels of cybersecurity practices and processes are in place to protect the CUI and FCI information that resides on the networks or the information systems of Department of Defense contract holders. All Department of Defense contractors within the supply chain are going to eventually be required to obtain a CMMC certification associated with a specific maturity level, rather a cybersecurity maturity level. The Department of Defense has already stated that they plan on requiring all suppliers to have some level of CMMC maturity level certification by the year of 2025. Now, you may be wondering what CMMC maturity level you'll need, and that is completely up to the Department of Defense. They will actually list the CMMC level that is needed by the organizations in the requests for information and requests for proposals. Another question you might have is, how much is this going to cost me to get this certification? And unfortunately, the Department of Defense does not have an actual number in place at this time, but there is some speculation that CMMC level one is going to cost anywhere from $3,000 to $5,000. Currently, as of September of 2020, the CMMC is still in development. The CMMC accreditation body, also known as the CMMC AB, plans on assessments being available for organizations sometime before the summer of 2021. Some contracts will already have the CMMC requirements listed in them. This means that all Department of Defense contractors or organizations thinking of bidding on upcoming contracts should begin learning and understanding the CMMC requirements at each level and really start thinking about what maturity level they're aiming for to get certified for. The organization should then start to identify any cybersecurity gaps within their information systems or networks, and then begin remediating these gaps so everything is in accordance with the practices and processes found within that CMMC maturity level. Organizations should also consider receiving a readiness assessment from a registered provider or organization or RPO, RPO before they actually receive that assessment. 
once an organization believes that they are ready to be assessed, they need to find a CMMC AB approved third party assessor organization or a certified assessor that is actually approved to assess and certify at the maturity level that the organization is trying to obtain. Once the assessment has been completed, you will then be able to review the assessment and all of the auditor's assessment findings with them. If there are any findings or anything that is missing, you will actually have 90 days to resolve those findings with that auditor. The auditors will then submit their assessment to the CMMC AB for review. The CMMC AB will review the auditor's findings and really make sure that everything is completed and in accordance with what they're requiring. And then they will award you a CMMC maturity level certificate based on the maturity level that you were assessed for. With the certification, you and your organization may then bid on DOD contracts up to the maturity level that you are certified for. So now let's take a high level look at the CMMC model. The model is meant to measure cybersecurity maturity with five different levels. Each of these maturity levels is made up of processes and practices. The processes range from performed at level one to optimizing at level five. And the practices range from basic cyber hygiene at level one to advanced slash progressive at level five. The maturity levels that are associated with the practices and processes from each level are cumulative. This means that, let's say at CMMC level three, all practices and processes from level one, level two, and level three must be performed to be compliant with level three and actually earn that certification for level three. Each maturity level within the model has a specific focus. Level one is meant to safeguard federal contract information. Level two serves as a transition step in the cybersecurity maturity progression to protect CUI. Level three is meant to protect CUI anywhere it resides on the organization's information systems. And level four and level five are established to protect CUI and reduce the risk of advanced persistent threats. So on this slide right here, we can actually see all the practices that are required at each maturity level. There are 17 practices that need to be implemented at level one and 171 at level five. We're gonna take a more in-depth look into what practices and processes make up each maturity level in later videos. This is it for this video. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Make sure to keep an eye out for future videos where I will dive deeper into the CMMC framework. Thank you again. Have a great day.